What are you doing with your life? Are you really listening to this guy and me talk? Are you really watching this video right now? Are you serious? I, what are you doing with your life, bro? Are you, are you serious? Introduce this episode. Buenas noches, muchachos y muchachas. Buenas tardes, buenos días. Dependiendo it's where you're watching us. 12 5 a.m. right now. Doesn't matter where they're watching, it doesn't change. I'm not gonna know, yeah, sure. So, uh, welcome to another episode of Yo Estoy Abajo. Yes, Con su pro, no, anfitriones, Jorge Gutierrez. I'm on energia, por favor. I'm on energia. But know? I should be serious. Hype up these people. You, you, know? you ever, you ever hype up the, the you ever people? Like, no? like, you ever see like, 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 like Telemundo Noticias? And they're trying yeah, to be like, they, they, they have like, they, they have like, they're trying to be engaging, but like in a very monotone voice. Yeah, because they're reading a problem. So, they're like, bienvenidos a nuestro show. 90 minutos con sus anfitriones. Jorge. I feel like you search that word up. Alfred. Anfitriones? Did nah, you search that word up? Of course not. I was just thinking it. That's why I struggle. I'm like, I know, I know this word. What is it? What is it? Right. And the host, host, I've been doing this. I give us an intro that's like energy worthy. You know, like the people on the other side would be like pumped. Like, all right, but like that. This will, this will be popping this time around. Oh, you're punching yourself kind of hard there, buddy. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what you're doing, but you're about to knock yourself out. <laughs> that's not all good. Right. If you're ready to watch a show about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, go watch a history lesson. If you want life and purpose, go read the Bible. And if you want everything in between, then this is the show for you. Welcome to I'm Down. Is that better? You felt that? I, I can do better. I can do better. Come on. Right, let's... More energy. Better energy. Right. Come on. Let's go. 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 let us I, what are you doing with your life, bro? Are you, are you serious? Okay, okay. That, what, what kind of fucking intro is that? You know what? Like, I was going to work. Let me show I was going to work my way to a point, but you kind of ruined my flow. No, let me show you how to do it. All right, people. Welcome back to yet another episode oh, of I'm bro. Down. I'm your host, oh, George no. Gutty. Here with Christoph the Third. Back at it again with the back at it again. You know, last show, we left off with a very, very good note. It was um, you being the super sweetheart, you know, fucking gay guy that I, I'm going to call you. Wow, that's offensive. Um, just because, you know, it's, it's not gay. You know, um, honestly, it's, it's, it's maturity. You know, like, I think out of, like, any friend I've had, you show the most maturity <laughs> in that realm. Now, real talk, just because, um, like, you know, I, so, you know, when we talk and stuff like that about, like, you know, relationships and all this shit, you know, um, you know, I have, I have my personal uh views on why i don't ever want to mm -hmm. be you know in a, get a, have a girlfriend get no yeah. issue just because I, I can't do with the with the uh, the typical yeah, things yeah. Yeah, i mean like if if maybe the one day in the universe there was a girl that wasn't with the typical you know more i guess free-minded type stuff then you know maybe you know I mean? but as of now you know i'm rock solid yeah. but you know for you um i know we've had a lot of conversations and you're more um you're more set on like you know the the, the, I guess the more mature side of, of things, you know what I mean? It's not just like, oh, I want a girl and I want to get married because, you know, that's what you're doing. Like, yeah. you, know, you kind of have a plan and more or less what you want to do, you know, based on your beliefs and stuff. So, you know, that's where we left off last episode, right? So, I kept, you know, saying that, okay, this uh -huh. is for the girls, you know, this is for the girls, whatever, which it kind of is. I think that, you know, um, it, it allows girls to kind of get a point of view on, you know, a younger guy's perspective on marriage, which is yours, which is probably not most guys, right? Like, most mm -hmm. guys are age right now are trying to like slice and dice yeah. and you know, kind of do their thing um and that's understandable right and then your your side you know is not as understandable to more people they're gonna be like yo you're young why are you yeah. you, know, you know how that goes and then for other guys it's gonna help too because it kind of gives them perspective mm -hmm. on what you know somebody else like your age can kind of think yeah. or maybe you know they've been thinking the same thing and they just need to express mm -hmm. themselves so you know so that was that side right um which was which was dope that was our last episode um you, you think I have anything to add to that to like that whole 
lovey-dovey, picture-perfect nah, guy. You gotta post a guy for I'm down. Tell I don't me. know, man. Yeah, anything it's, like, it's like you stop it. Like, <laughs> Alright, back to... Back. This, is a, this is a word from our, from our from sponsors. Our sponsors. <laughs> Cling. And then you gotta come, whatever... Honestly, honestly speaking, bro, yes, yeah, you're the poster guy, bro. If, uh, I if any time we're to get a sponsorship and you know, they're like, yo, you know... The only way we know we could ever do it. You know, yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie, yo. Realistically, you're about to get sponsored by like a condom company because all the something conversations like that. that you have. Something like that, yeah. It will never be like, you know, like something appropriate, yeah. you know, like a book or something like that. No, you know that's I mean? gonna be like. Definitely. And uh, no, I, I think, I'm telling you, my stand on relationship is that it has to be an evolution. Like, you know, you can't expect to always be the same person and you can't expect to always be with the same person. You guys are growing. You guys are... You know, we talk about a lot about tasting, right? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, we like this, we don't like that individually. Yeah, yeah. But even in relationships, it's a lot of tasting. Like, okay, this we can work with, this I can compromise on, this is a, is a, I can't compromise on. And right, so right, you're right. tasting, you're kind of just finding that middle ground where you both can operate and flourish. But Because uh, I'll tell you, it's not for me. It's always like, I hear the vocabulary we use, not just in for marriage talk, but in everything. And it's indicative of where our precision and our views there. Like, that's what I was telling you. Like, for me, when I understand what you're saying, I'm like, you'll define what you specifically mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, it's not what yeah. you mean, it's a consensus with everybody else. Right, so, right. You know, and to me, like, you know, marriage is never settling down. I've always told you. For me, settling down is a bad connotation. It's a negative connotation. It's yeah. you saying, yo, I'm giving up on what I really want and settling for this. Right, right, right. No, man. Right. If I, I'm not going to settle for a marriage. I'm building something here. I'm pursuing a greater vision that I can accomplish on my own, right? right? And yeah. so I think that that is, is part of, um, of just being good in relationships, period, not just marriage, but even in friendships, is learning to define what you mean with what you say, right? Yeah. A lot of times, like, you know, we're living in a world where we use these vague terms, like love, huh? right, left, conservative, liberal, freedom, right, expression, things like follow your heart, those are vain, those are arbitrary, those are empty until yeah. you define exactly what you mean. Because when you tell me follow your heart, it's going to differ completely from what somebody else would say. Because yeah. of where I come from, because of what I believe in, because of what I stand for. You know, and so I think it's important for us to learn to just be honest and say, hey, look, I don't understand half of the things. Don't, don't just impose what you think something means on what somebody else is saying. You mm-hmm. get me? Because I'll say like, oh man, love, 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 love. And, and to most people, love is a, oh, love is a feeling. I don't feel love for most people, to be honest. Sometimes I want to punch people in the face, but I love them yeah, yeah, because yeah. I know it's a decision I chose to do. Right, right, right. And so yeah. we need to define words because you know if not, we're never going to mature to the point that we can have conversations and actually disagree with people. If not, we always going to go back to that whole idea of you know people are hypersensitive mm-hmm. because you automatically like if, if you tell me Chris, uh, you know you're wrong because this, this, and this, and I'm like yo no. I'm right because this is what I believe and I have the right to believe. You know, we need to learn to the point to like, yo, whatever, define to me what you believe in. Define to me what this means to you. And yeah, then we can yeah. come to a common understanding. Yeah, and yeah. I think that that happens in, a lot of times marriage, the reason it doesn't work is because people didn't really come to an understanding of what they actually meant when they were yeah. saying, hey, I do. Yeah, yeah. You know, They had different views, you know? Let me ask them. So, in, in, I, I don't know if you thought about it, but let me, in, in, at least in your, in your current opinion, right? Uh-huh. What do you think about the whole, let's say like, the whole thought of, you know, when you're in your youth, as, as a guy, you have to experiment and go out and, and try. Like you said, like, you know, you're constantly yeah. tasting stuff like that. You know, but how do you feel about, you know, us as a generation, you know, mind you, girls are taking that side yeah. now. Like, they're like, oh, you know what, well, fuck it, guys are doing yeah. that, I'm going to do it too. And, you know, so it's almost like this, like, fight between, yeah, yeah. you know, male and female. And now, like, you know, when we try to get into relationships, it's now no longer like, oh, I'm coming in this, like, you know, with a good open heart. I'm kind of coming in as a strategic game yeah, plan. Like, of, like, I already have figure. certain things that yeah, I'm not yeah. going to cave on. So, like, how do you feel about people having to go out and taste in that sense? You know, like, having to hook yeah. up, having to, you know, so you could... Do you feel like it's necessary? I, I don't... Or... I, I think uh, there's certain things you can learn from just t- tasting and having your... But I, I think it can also mess up your expectations. Uh, because... You, you start framing your views on certain things as society frames them. And so mm-hmm. now it's a group thing kind of thing. Now it's like, this is how we all see it. And it's like, hold up. Why do you have to subscribe to what they believe in? Yeah. You yeah. know? It's like, no, because now that like, you hear a lot of people, it's like, no, you're too young. You know, you shouldn't settle right now. You shouldn't. Right, right. It's like, dude, 
You can find the right person for you. It doesn't mean you settled because you're young. Actually, you took advantage of the fact that you're young and you have more energy and more time to invest with that person. Right, right. Right, but if you see it the right way. But I, I think a lot of times we, we've disrespected or destroyed certain values, certain columns to the point that now it's like, oh, yeah, leave marriage for later. Marriage is never supposed to be a burden. Mm -hmm. You get me? It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's like, it's like leave burden. relationships for later. First of all, finding somebody that you can have something special with and you want to share the world with, it's a beautiful thing. But we make it seem like it's like, a, oh, it's the worst thing that can happen. So enjoy your life and then find a person. Right, right. What if you can find a person you actually love and enjoy things with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then why, you're not really destroying anything. You're enhancing every experience. Well, okay. But you know, like when, when they come, when, at least for me, like the problem I have with that is that, you know, like, all right, you, so let's say you, you you know a girl, right? You guys are friends. You guys kick it all the time, whatever, you know, with other friends, whatever. You guys do your thing, right? And, you know, you're you, she's her. And, like, I always say, like, you know, once you get in a relationship, yeah, expectations, expectations change. change yeah. I expect you to do this. Yeah, yeah. I expect you to do that. For sure. So now you kind of have to change your whole, yeah. and then that's where, you know, arguments start to come yeah, yeah. in and start to kick but, in. But I think, yeah, obviously. And I'm telling you, like, you know, you're gonna, there's going to be pushback because when two people are trying to come into agreements with something, you're always bound to find a place where you don't agree. I think, and even in friendships, the only yeah. difference is in friendships we have we we tend to be more tolerant because we understand you don't owe me anything. Right, right. It's uh, and a relationship with like that is more on a love side. It's like hold up, you owe me. Well, and, why? And, and, and it's because you know people are, are are they switch their view on what we have going on, right? But you know I've heard people say no, no. I treat my marriage more like a business, right? And I think that's the opposite. That's the extreme, right? That's the yeah. extreme. Like no, I can transaction. You give, I give. You give, I right, give. Right, right, right. And then there's the other side. It's like no, no. We either do what he wants or I do what I want. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And so it's like the too much to one and too much to the other. But I, I think it has to be somewhere in the middle. In the middle where it's like sometimes I, I don't. I do what I don't want to do because it's not what I want to do. But it's like I want to do it with you. Mm -hmm. Right, and sometimes it's like no, no I, I, I don't want to do that. It's not my thing. That's cool. I respect that. I appreciate sometimes you're willing to do some things, and I don't want. It's okay. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Yeah. Right, but you gotta understand that not every battle is worth fighting for. Right, right. you get me? Well, yeah. So that's true. That's that's true. I think, and I think that that's maturity because I would if twenty four year old Chris who still likes to argue for everything, mm -hmm. um, I am willing to lose some battles, quote unquote, right. or not even fight them. Right, right. Because you know I, it's not worth... I, I realized you know, it's not worth my time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas I get that. five years ago, I would have told you, yo, I'm always right. Every time I'm right, that's me. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. care. I'm going to prove that you're wrong. And it's like, hold up, dude. You're going to hurt the person you care about just to try to prove him wrong? Yeah. No, that's not even worth it. It's yeah. not even right. At the end, you care more about that person than about being right. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah, right. Yeah, I get you. You get me? And that's where something's like... We need to understand it's okay to just let them win sometimes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, sure. You kind of like, and then, you know, I've learned that like just in, in general, you know, yeah. like, like when I was younger, I was with my mom, yo, I would fight about anything, yeah. right? Because it's like, no, nah, like, I feel like I'm right, you know, now it's more like, all right, you know what, whatever, you know, I'm not gonna do it because yeah. now if I if I say this, you're gonna react like this, and I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, you exactly. know, what I mean? so, so you really do, you do mature in that sense, yeah. you know. But the thing is, you know, a lot of people say, like, you know, being a monogamous is unnatural, right? It's it's yeah. not, you know, you can't be with somebody for forever because, you know, you start to feel like, yeah. like, you know, you start feeling some type of way, like, you, you get annoyed of them yeah. or whatever, you know, as, as humans, we're, we're part of extremes, you know what I mean? It's, you know, there's like this quote thing I said the other time, like, you know, we're, we're alone in this world and we spend the rest of our lives trying to look for somebody yeah, to not to be, be alone, alone, right? Yeah. That's from the Punisher, as a matter of fact, so I just remember that. And then... There's the, the other side of the extreme where it's like, so that you just want your space, you yeah, want to be alone, yeah. you don't want to be with yeah. nobody. So, you know, it, it's, you know, I guess in the relationship, you have to find a compromise. Yeah, right? like, you know, course, where, yeah. yo, give me my space, I'm going to do this and just yeah, chill, yeah. right? But I mean, for the most part, though, most people would agree that, yo, that five years ago, I didn't really like wearing big baggy clothes. Yeah. Five years later, I'm actually yeah, into yeah, wearing yeah, big exactly. baggy clothes. So it's you know yeah. yeah, so it, you know it happens the same way. You know, as as you yeah. go on, you start to you know change and stuff like that. So how do you how do you work that out in reality, or at least when you think about it, right? Yeah. In the long term, right? Like you know you're gonna change. You know that like, you know you you want to have a family with mm -hmm. a person. You want to get married. How do you kind of keep that interaction going? Is it that you just go as you go, or is it that you must plan in your mind? I, I think part is planned, part is conversating, and part is just whatever life brings. Because there's some things that you don't know you have in you, or they don't know they have in them, until life pushes. You know? Like when uh, like life hits hard, you start seeing the worst in the person. Right, right. You know, oh, when, yeah. when that strikes in a relationship, yeah. you start seeing the worst the, in the, the person. Struggles, yeah. right? When everything's 
blessed and flourishing. You know, you see the wor- wor- the best in the people, mm-hmm. right? You see the worst in the worst situations and the best in the best situations. Mm-hmm. And so you gotta find how to live when none of those extremes are happening. Because most of your life is not lived in the best or in the worst. Yeah. It's lived in the hey, I'll do the dishes today. <laughs> you know, that's most of your life. And I think also you gotta understand this: when we're young, most of our relationship is based on attraction. Yeah. Am, am I attracted to your vibes? Am I attracted to your body? Am I attracted to your mind? Am I attracted to your comedy? Yeah, yeah. Attraction. As you get older, sexual drive dies down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So there has to be something else that kept you in there. Yeah. You get me? And you gotta learn to adjust. Hold up. Yeah, first I thought she was beautiful. But the more I met her, was her smile. The more I met him, was how smart and how caring he was. Yeah. And you know, and it, it, you start, hold up. What I thought I cared most about at the beginning is what I least care about now, mm. because you found something more yeah, meaningful. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I and think you're that, mature. Yeah, you're mature. mature. So you start yeah. seeing like, how that? Yeah, some things are vanity. Some things are, are passing by. Yeah, yeah, and there's some things that are can never be filled. Really, yeah, you know. You know. You know, okay, so let, let's kind of take it back, right? So you know, a lot of people are not, especially like the uh, at least what I see like a lot on Twitter and stuff like that. It's it's really a lot of girls mostly, uh-huh. right? That they're like, oh, you know what? I, I give up. You know, all all guys are the same. Yeah. All they want to do is do yeah. this. Nobody wants something serious. This is why I'm going to stay single. Blah, blah. So, do you feel like people should be invested in looking for a relationship? Or do you think they should live their life until it just happens? Like, they should forget about it. Just, it's, I'll, wait, I'll wait till it happens. I think you got to be, like, passively looking. What do you mean? So, like... Don't be out here. Swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, swipe right. Swipe. <laughs> yeah. Because dude. if you swipe right, swipe right, swipe right, you're going to tell that, like... 99 out of 100 are going to be, why did I even swipe? Right, right. right. You know, maybe you find that 1 out of 100, but talk about 1%. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And so, I, I think you just got to be open to the fact that you can find a, a good person in the weirdest of scenarios. Mm-hmm. So, not I will always be too, like, just close-minded. At, oh, no, it has to be, I have to find them in church, or I have to find them in, in whatever this magical story that I think uh, has to happen for my life because like you, you know sometimes you might find you know the, the one at Publix because he was buying salami and you know you were buying I don't know prosciutto and you guys laughed at each other's jokes and something clicked yeah blah 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 you'll find the one you know when you were going to the movies with your friends and she was coming out of the movies and you know kind of stumbled blah 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 it's not, it might not always be romantic right so I, I think you gotta be like passively you know looking in the sense that you always gotta be open to the idea but you don't have to be thirsty for it. Right. Like, you gotta be, like, to the point that I'm good if it doesn't happen now, but I'm okay if it happens now. I think that that's the balance we gotta find. Got you, got you. So, it, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things, at least on, on my side, right? So, when, when I think when I think about this a lot, you know, um, oh, all right, guys, we shifted a little bit. <laughs> all right, so, you know, when, when I think about this exact thing, right, you know, for me, for a long time, right, you know, I grew up, um... You know, like yeah. cr- Christian household. You know, with with my mentality, like, oh, you know, I I want to be whatever. You know, I want to get married one day. All all of that stuff, right? When I was young, right, like you know, mm-hmm. in my teens, you know, I I started growing growing older. I never, I didn't quite experience like, you know, like the the fooling around yeah. and all that stuff. Right? Until I got into like my twenties and whatnot. You know, I kind of started seeing more of like, what what relationships are are, are about. You know, and it's for me, it's a lot about like. Like, I just feel like I can't do it, right? A, a lot of it has to do with... You know, I think at this point in my life, I'm past trust issues, yeah. right? Like, I know in the past I've said, like, nah, I have too many trust issues. I don't think I'm I'm, I'm on that anymore, you know what I mean? I think that I, I just came from a place in, in, in the past, you know, in my life. You know, I think about it now, it's like, you know, it's not it's not really about trust issues. It's just really about, it's really about me, you know? Like, I feel like every human being in this world needs something to build. Yeah. You get me? And when you're in a relationship... And you do your job or whatever. Mm-hmm. You're building your family. Yeah, you're building your relationship. We need something to continuously work mm-hmm. on. You know what I mean? I, for me, I've always said that you know I want to get to the point where you know I, I want to spend time with my friends mm-hmm. as much as my, as much as I can before I settle yeah. down because then it won't be like you know how it is now. You know you've heard me say that many times. You know and then I want to build a, a machine, yeah. meaning something that I can continuously dive in and work on and build on yeah, myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? But that doesn't have to necessarily. You know, revolve around building a family, having kids, yeah. having a girl, none of that, right? Just something, right? Business, whatever it is, right? You know, so I, I was putting it into some thought, like, wow. So I think my biggest solution is also going to be my biggest downfall. Yeah. Because 
you know, so my solution right now is, okay, spend time with your friends, enjoy your time now, this and that. But you know, as we do something more and more and more, we get used to yeah, doing that. Yeah, and it's gonna more. be harder when it's not there. So when it's not there no more, it's like, well, fuck, you know, like, obviously, like, my whole thing is, okay, so what, you're gonna get lost into your work, yeah. you're gonna get lost? And essentially, yeah, you know, the, you know, I, I don't know, my mom tells me, like, oh, you know, you get, you're gonna want to be with somebody because when you get sick, you know, when you're old, what are you gonna do? Who's gonna take care of you? You know, this yeah. and that, right? And I'm like, oh, you know, it is what it is. You know, I don't, I guess as a younger person, you're not thinking so much like, oh, I'm gonna be the sick. The practicality of it. Right, you don't yeah. think it, you know, in some extent, I guess, I don't, I don't know. You know, it all comes down to, you know, who knows, right? Yeah. But, you know, so for me, it's a, a lot of complexities when it comes to not wanting certain things, right? Like, you know, I think that when you have a girlfriend, and, and you actually have a girlfriend, I think that you need to have a plan for yeah. it, right? In my opinion. You know, meaning that you're going to go and try to be serious, yeah. try to build something with that person, right? Otherwise, you just might as well just have girls and fool yeah. around, right? So if you have a girlfriend at this at this point in time, you know, I feel like most girls at the at this point in time, they want to get married, right? Yeah. Like for the most part. Not everybody, but for the most part. So once you have a girlfriend, you kind of have to build serious, you know what I mean? They're going to want kids eventually yeah, yeah. and all of these things. And, you know, you're going to have to do X, Y, and Z. You know, I just think of a, a lot of little things. Like, for example, like, look, if I lose my job, let's say I'm 30 years old, right? And I have a family and I lose my job. Most relationships die because of oh, financial, financial structure, structure right? Yeah. Let's just say, right? Let's say I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm not nothing. I work a nine to five, right? Hypothetically speaking. And I lose my job. Now I'm freaking out. Fuck, what am I going to do? I just lost my job mm -hmm. and I got to go home, look at my wife and whatever, whatever. You know, you, you're not no longer thinking about yourself, you're thinking about everybody course, else. Yeah. But you know, if, let's say again, this is a bad scenario, I understand, but just, if I were to lose my job and I'm fucking 35 years old and whatever, I live on my own, I got to worry about how I'm going to get it. Not about how I'm going to yeah. get me, my girl, of my course, kids. Yeah, I got to worry about me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's very different, you know, the way you, you live, you know what I mean, your lifestyle. Like, if I live on my own, I need to make, let's say, $50,000 yeah. a year. But now if I have a girl, I have yeah. a kid, I probably need to be making more than that. You, course, get, you yeah. get what I'm saying? To cover, like, whatever. Indeed. You get know what I mean? And when it comes down to, like, you know, maybe, like, trying to enjoy certain shit, I can't really buy the pair of shoes that I want or I can't mm -hmm. go to the trip that I want or whatever because I have to save up more of my money yeah. because I have to put, I have to invest more, whatever. You get know what I mean? So that's one scenario for me that I think about. So it's like, it's almost like, I can't really seem to like outweigh certain things for me. You get me? Like I don't really think about like, damn. Like I never really think about like, damn. I wish I had a girl. I, if I had a girl ask me like, a question, like, yo, you never really feel like that you just wanna like somebody you know, have somebody. I'm like, no, because to be honest with you, like, whenever I'm really thinking about a girl, as bad as it may sound, it's always sexual. And I don't mean sexual like, oh, I, I wanna yeah. smash, smash. But like, yeah, I can be in my room and I can have the lights, you know, dim down, candle lit, listen to slow music, and just chilling on my phone. And like, yeah, it'll be nice to have a girl like. And, and cuddling, but you know, come on, for guys, cuddling leads to whatever yeah, to, else, you know what I mean? So it's never like, oh man, I wish I, I had just, a girl. Just for the sake of it. Right, it's not, like, it's not like, oh man, I wish I had a girl so I can go and take her to one of my favorite restaurants where you can enjoy this. Yeah. It's like, no, like, yo, I gotta have friends for that, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I hit y'all up, whatever, like, it's, it's, it, you know what I mean? It's never yeah, that. Yeah, never. So that's what I'm saying, like, you know, you may be like, or the question that may arise from that would be like, okay, well, what about when we you take your friends away and then you're by yourself? Well, then that's the point where I have to learn to, to kind of adjust, answer on my yeah. own or get really good at flirting yeah. and talking to other girls. <laughs> like, I have dates or, you know, whatever whatever the case may be, but, you know, it's going to be an adjustment no yeah. matter what. If it's not like, you know, it's not like, oh, you're never going to see your friends ever again when they get married. No, but it's just going to be a, by a little bit than, less yeah, and less, you know, for sure, thing. you know? So, and especially when you have kids yeah. and shit like that, right? So, you know... I don't know, man. I, like, and we talked about it. It's always uh, a thing of, oh man, you're probably young, and you're just saying young, and you're saying young, and you're just young, and you're just. I, like, don't, oh. I don't think so. For the most, I don't know. At least for me, man. Look, uh, this may sound arrogant and shit, but I'm right most of the time. And by that, I mean that the things that I usually predict to happen or how I'm feeling, just based purely based on um. Self awareness. On, not self awareness. Consciousness. I just lost the word now. When you feel something and it has nothing to do with your mental, it just has to do with emotion. Intuition? Intuition. There we go. So, when I'm getting... I, I feel, at least me, I feel like I'm very intuitive. So, when I feel something based off of just pure intuition, I just feel like for the most part I'm right. You get what I'm saying? And that's re regardless of how I feel about somebody's feelings, yeah. emotions, or what they're going through. I just feel like for the most part I'm right. And I, I, I get it sounds arrogant, but I'm not saying it from a place of arrogance. Like, oh, I'm yeah, fucking yeah. always right. I'm never wrong. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying, for the most part, I'm not wrong in those aspects. So that's how I feel like, you know, for me, 
you know, just to share like another side yeah. of it. I feel like that's why I won't need. Cause I know you guys all the fucking time. Oh, you fucking like, you get married. You're just talking shit. I, I I do think you probably will get married. Why? I I don't think. I don't think. Wait, why? I think it's just I believe that you'll find a good person, a person that will, uh, that will help you, and not in a, in a like purposeful, but just because through the relationship, will help you um, understand that there is something beautiful about building with somebody, and and I and I think you. Well, why do you th- think that? I, like, I, is it is it like? Are you just saying that to say that? that that's a, that's no, no. I, I, I firmly mean. I feel like firmly mean that. Um, I don't think it's gonna be like a like a super realization of wow, you know, ah, my whole world changed. I think you're just gonna find somebody that you enjoy the company so much that you're like, okay, this is a different kind of enjoyment. I think so, in my opinion. How do you in your let's say predict it? Give us, how do you think that will happen? I think it's just I think it's gonna be tough. First, I of mean, because th- th- this we gotta think about. It. So mind you, so ever since I was young. Ever since I was young, so let's take it down to middle school, right? Uh-huh. Where you, where girls, you know, that's where you yeah. start talking to girls. I've never ever in my life talked to a girl, like holler at a girl, or whatever, like try to get, like never in my life in middle school, right? Let's get down with it. It was always like, again, again, it may sound a little arrogant, whatever, but it was always the opposite, girls right? Like girls will try to interact with me or like, hey, look, you know, my homegirl likes you, whatever, shit like that, right? The same shit in high school, right? It was never me trying to like approach yeah. a girl and be like, hey, what's up? It was always girls like. Hey, you know, whatever, this, that, the third, what, you know, you know, and, and I believe that that's how it's gonna happen. Oh. I, I, I feel like my opinion, I feel like gonna, there's gonna be a girl that's gonna be like, nah, 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 he doesn't have to win me over, I'm gonna win him over. You know, you know, you know why I, I, at least, I mean, it could happen, I'm not saying it can't. The reason why I find those things hard to believe, man, is because I feel like that works in a younger setting. Most women won't do that. Because most women want you to be a man, right? Yeah, yeah. Or they, they're not going to want... Like, look, there's a bunch of girls that find you as a man attractive. And you will never know. Yeah. Because they don't give you the googly eyes right, but they think you're fine as fuck. You get me? Like, it, And for sure, yeah. you have a chance. But they won't give you the googly eyes or nothing. They, they're approaching you, you don't know. Exactly. And for me, like, yo, you can give me the eyes and everything, and I probably still won't approach you. Yeah. Just because I've never... Look, I'm not a sweet talker. I'm not... Um, How do you... How do you Say yourself. Charming. Charming. Well, I'm charming. You are charming, but not not just charming. But you say other like when you use your little phrases, clever. Clever. Yeah, I'm, I'm not clever. It. Yeah, you need charm. You need cleverness to talk to girls. Yeah, I'm like you need to be able to like, you know, I'm not that guy. I'm the annoying guy. I'm the guy who wants <laughs> to talk about life. Like you know, like when I'm talking to you, like you guys, you fucking people hear me here all the time. I want to talk about like, yo, what what what, do you, what drives you? You know, I don't care about that. You going to school for business or that like, you want to be like. I don't know, fucking uh, flower. Like, I, I, I want, I want to know. Like, I mean, that's, what, like, yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm talking. I is think different. Like, the guy, when I think about it, like, there's seven billion people in this world, right? And I think, I think definitely there is more than just one outsider, one person that just, that challenges the norm. And I think that you're gonna find somebody that's gonna challenge the norm, and it's gonna be like, all right, hold up, I never, I've never seen a girl think like this. I've never seen a girl push the envelope like this. I, I, this is, you know what? Because I think. I think, you know, no, there's 7 billion people. Look at the probabilities of you finding a girl that will challenge you. I yeah, think it's super high. This is the thing. I'm not saying, what I think what you're saying is right, but but this, this is the what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm saying, how can that happen if I don't even talk to girls Exactly, the that's what I'm saying. But I'm talking about a, a girl that will like, approach you, that will challenge the I'm, norms, I'm that will very, challenge I'm you. Very, I'm very, this is the thing. Cause I'm not thinking like a, I'm not thinking like in a pickup date. I think it's a girl. You're gonna. Uh, so you think I'm gonna just meet like a girl? Like it could be at work. Yeah, or yeah, something yeah, like yeah. That, yeah. And yeah, I'm, I can't, I, I'm not first. I'm not a fortune teller. Second one. I've been told that my my intuition sucks. Cause apparently I can't determine what people are. Do you being. think your intuition? Sucks? That's what I've been told. I, that's that's what, what you've been told. What do you think though? Cause that's what matters. What do you think? Yeah, but no, actually, I don't. I. You know what it is? I think I'm very like in the clouds. I'm rarely ever. Like just checking what people are doing, whatever. You see me, uh, uh, Chris. Did you see that? What? what, what? Okay. You know. So you so, think intuition is bad. So I think my intuition is bad in the sense that I'm not really perceptive because I'm not really paying attention. Yeah. Like I, I'll see. I'm like, I know how. The, I know that person's character. And I can tell people's character, people's like you know, kind of habits. But overall, like decisions, emotions, intentions, that usually not my. Your forte. Your forte at all. My Man, own... uh, look, I don't know. Like again, like I, I can't, I can't always say like, oh no, that's that shit will never, because again, you don't know. But I just, um, for me, it's just, dude, I find it impossible. Yeah. Just because, like, I mean, look, 
it, it, when I have taken my shot and put down with girls, um, it goes down one of two ways. Either extremely unsuccessful, which is usually how it happens. Yeah. 90% of the time, if I take my shot, I'm getting shut down all the time, right? For sure. Because I guess it has to do with my pickiness. Like, I, I, like, I like this certain kind of girl. Maybe, <laughs> like, shit, I, I don't know. She's nah, way out, she's way up she there. might be, like, way out of my league. I might be, like, a fucking 2 or a 1, and she might be, like, a 10. I don't know, right? That could, that could be the case. You know, and let's say, like, whenever I have, like, you know... Because for the most part, man, I don't really shoot my shot like that, to be real. Like, I have, you know, in, in the past, for sure. You know, I shot my shot yeah. being, like, you know... Especially when the minute I turned 22. Mm -hmm. I was like, 22 is, like, the iconic... <laughs> like, 22 is my iconic age, you get me? I feel like once I turned... Like, probably, like, six months into my 22, uh -huh. I probably calmed down a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's not kind of, like, chilled out a little bit more. Not as much, but chilled out a little bit. Once I turned 23, which I'm 23 now, it's, like... That's it. Like, I'm Good boy stands. I think about it. I have a fucking Jenny Eichel and wine playing in the room. Like, I'm fucking chilling like a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like, that's not what 23 year olds are doing. They're at, like, I don't know, Dirty Rabbit or something like that, turning up. Like, you know, so. This is like the spice of your space right here. Yeah, right now, it really is. You know, so it's one of those things. Yeah, I'm still there. So, you know, it's just one of those things where I don't know. I just don't see it really happening. Like, I, it's very. I think it's, it's going to be very difficult. It'll have to be a girl with a very strong personality. Yeah, I think so. That, it like, to be a approaches strong woman. me. Like a strong, hard headed woman. Yeah, definitely. Like, for sure. And, and approaches me, and I'm like, shit. Like, because I, I really like that. I really like the strong personality. Like, you know, and you know, you know, from based on certain things. But, nah, I don't know, man. It's just. Yeah, I really do nah, feel like, like for you to, to even happen. consider a girl like that, she would have to, like, basically nah, uppercut you in the mouth. Like with yeah. a, or like to the point that, that you're like you're like I think I love you, <laughs> and you grab your chin. You're like I think I love. You. Nah, yeah, that actually might be true. <laughs> you know, uh, if I, I but you know, but I, I'm telling you, bro, I, I met girls, and, and sometimes you like, wow, you know, this girl's really out there, like, really different. So uh, I think like, that's why, and I'm, I'm telling you, like it just becomes a realization. I'm telling you, for me, I, I think. Uh, if if we if we get like that that sexual is the only factor for a relationship, then we're missing. Obviously, sexual has to be a great part. I think and I, I think people low ball it or high ball it too much. Sure. So this is like oh you know it's like the sexual factor that is amazing. Yeah. Or sometimes like you know oh you know I don't really like care that much about it. I think it's a lie on both sides. You, you know, at the same time, bro, you know what it is, and I think I think you made a great point when you said it there. It's also laziness for me. Yeah. I'm, like, I see too many pros of being single than being in a relationship for me. Just because, like, even, like, on the sex part, like, I don't, they're, like, let's say, like, you know, I'm, I'm a good kid. I'm, first off, I'm a Christian man. I want to start off by saying I'm a Christian man. <laughs> I go to church every day. Church to George, but who cares? Every day. <laughs> and, you know, so I have not indulged in any, uh, He's like, I have all, I have all the fear of God. In my life. I mean, like the brand. Like, yeah, like, literally, like, literally. The essentials are the essentials, not, not, not the real fear of God. But you know, okay. But like, I get, I get more serious now, right? Like, if I'm like, if, let's say I'm hooking up with somebody, which I haven't done by the way. But let's just say, right? Uh, done with you. Yeah, okay. if I have. I don't feel like I need to try to be good. You get me? I don't need to like put effort into anything because it it just is what it it's is. It's a moment me? thing. Like we both know it. This, this, it is what it is. You know what yeah. I mean, I don't need to do anything. And you know, like when, when you're, when, you know, like how people say, like you know, when you're in a relationship, you're, you gain the relationship way and you kind of like stop caring and yeah. shit, like, whatever, right? But then it's like the other, it's like kind of almost opposite from like for me. I just, I don't care. Like I'm just, I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna yeah. do, right? So it, it just depends, man. But you know, look, man. I think we cared this long enough. We got Waldo calling. <laughs> Look, guys, um, tell me, girls specifically, tell me what y'all think. You know, I'm a dumbass or not, probably. Guys, do you relate? You know, and, um, you know, let us know what you think. Again, comment down below. Like, subscribe, guys. Thank you guys for your support. We appreciate you guys. You already know what it is. This is I'm Down. Until next time, peace.